Hey everybody, this is Jeremy J coming to you with another video today, tonight, however you want to say it. It's the night time, so tonight. Uh, I was just watching a video I did about three years ago about the 2012 presidential elections. And it was really interesting to watch the video because it was me three years ago. Me three years ago, and uh, at 34 years of age, getting close to 35 now, I'm 37 years of age, getting close to 38. So not too long ago, three years ago, I'm going to put a link to this video because I, it, it, was, <laughs> it was fascinating to go back and watch myself. And I'm watching myself speak about the presidential election and sharing some insights and I'm kind of like, go young Jeremy, like, spout that wisdom. And I did the video back in the house I used to live while I was married. I was in the basement doing the video, and wow, so interesting to see myself three years ago. If you ever get a chance, like, take some video, do some videos of yourself talking. I, I remember doing my first video for drgerm.com, my very first website that I did on my own for personal growth and personal development. And that first video was was awful, like, it was terrible. Like, I, I'm not saying I'm a guru speaker now, but I was pretty bad for my first attempt. And that's okay, because I made that attempt. And it, making that attempt has spurred more attempts, and I keep improving. But the point I'm trying to make here is that look at you in the past, who you were three years ago, and look at who you are now. You are not the same person. You probably look similar, assuming you haven't been bitten by a shark all over your body. <laughs> you probably look similar. I have a little bit more gray in my hair and my beard. You'll be able to tell this when I link the video to you. But it's interesting to go back and look at who you were in the past. Look at how you spoke, look at the insights you shared. Super interesting. I think the purpose of one of the purposes of life is to just grow and learn and become more than you are. I've always had this natural curiosity with life and I could see it in the video I did three years ago. Just just not just this natural curiosity about life. Uh, the main difference between three years ago is that I was married three years ago and I'm not now. It's a, actually a very big difference. It's a huge difference. I'm in an apartment right now, a basement apartment, and at the time of doing that video, <laughs> I was in a nice house. You can kind of see a work, my workout tower and inversion table and a whole bunch of stuff in the background. And life changes, life evolves, things change, circumstances change, people change, and it's all very interesting. Take time to reflect. Take time to look at your past self and look at your current self. Look at the things you've learned. Look at the experiences you've gone through. Continue to be a curious student of life. I had a lot, I spoke for almost 10 minutes about those, the 2012 presidential election and what we can do as people and and those things still apply today which is good that means the information is is at least a little bit timeless <laughs> so the purpose of this video is to help you reflect on your past self who you were in the past and who you are now and if you don't like some things about who you are now and when three years pass and you look back on who you are now and you want to have a favorable impression or favorable view of where you are to your past self, then get curious. Start taking charge of your life. Do the things that you want to do. Get yourself in the position that you know you need to be in. And I have a feeling that things will work out pretty good for you. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.